Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World and if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below, next to which is a notification bell which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. For all of those of you that are coming back, thank you so, so much. I have an exciting unboxing for you today. I want, actually, more than one unboxing. I've got five five paintings to show you. I hope you're going to enjoy them as much as I enjoyed choosing them for the reasons that I chose them. We're gonna get into all of that good stuff, but before we do, let's do what we always do and throw some love out to the Patreons of the, of, of the family. How's that? Freudian, but true. Patreons of the channel who have supported me throughout my journey. Let's throw some love out to these peeps and you guys, you guys come with me. I'm gonna see you on the flip side. Come on. Okay guys, we're back, we're back, we're back. And yes, they are Diamond Art Club. I've had these in my stash for quite some time. Uh, quite, quite some time, probably months and months, and, well, more than, I think they're Black Friday and beforehand from 2021, last year. <laughs> I've had them in my stash for quite some time and I've grouped them together because I think they make a really nice, I don't know, theme theme of what today is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be in the thumbnail as to what today is going to be about. Uh, however, I think for various reasons, all of these paintings here uh, speak to me from a mental health point of view. So uh, I chose them specifically for, for their reasons that we're going to get into for each painting. But if you, this is your first time looking at a Diamond Art Club painting, uh, I highly doubt it. But just in case you've stumbled across me for the first time and you're new to our community, these are Diamond Art Club paintings. Okay, now without going into what each of the paintings are, this has got a blue stripe and a square, which means this is a square kit. Okay, so you can see here we've got one, two, three squares and two rounds. So something a little bit for everybody. Shall we crack into them one by one? All right, uh, obviously you've got all that there. Underneath my hand here, my big fat hand, is a picture of the painting, it's, uh, of the painting itself. And this is the box with all the instructions, all the good stuff, right? So let's just crack into them. Let's not waste any time. Now, I'm going to start with this one. None of these have been opened. We'll start off with a round, shall we? We'll start off with a round. And we'll open it up and get into it. Uh, I am going to say from the get-go, before anyone says anything, yes, I am well aware that at the time of taping this video, uh, there are still some prizes to be sorted out for our mental health awareness event that I did with Abigail. I am well, well aware of that. Let's get, oh, wow. Whoever would have thought. I've heard so much about these. I've heard so much. It's a new toolkit. There's a sticker. I'm going to get to that in a second. Given that this is my, you know, let's, Let's, let's just, uh, you know, what do we say here on this channel? Let's uh, just pop a cherry and have a look at the brand new toolkits from Diamond Art Club. There's a pleasant surprise. I'd forgotten all about their new toolkits. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what good is. Oh, I'll wait if, if, if I can get into this. It's no secret that most of us do diamond painting for a lot of different reasons. The majority I've noticed throughout the community is for, uh, you know, mental health. Like to, it helps everyone relax and all the good stuff. So, alrighty, let's, um, let's have a look. We get a green diamond painting pen with a matching green squishy. So that you put there, do, 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 and you diamond paint away. That's all you need to do uh, diamond painting. You've got a couple of places. We've got a What's that, a three? And a, is it a three? My eyeballs are not helping. Beg my pardon. It's a four and a seven multi-placer. So these go, oh, gee, oh, and it fell on the floor. I ain't bending for that, nope. Let's put the seven on there. So you can go single placing, multi-placing, see? Alrighty. We've got a heart-shaped little caddy of wax. You know I love me a caddy of wax, and I really don't mind the wax that comes 
with Diamond Art Club. I really don't. I think it's actually not bad. To be fair, to be honest. But how's that? That's uh, new to me. And we've got a whole bunch of baggies here to help you kit up. And we have a tray which got some gold sparkles in it. Can you see those gold sparkles? And this thing here goes as a stopper. I'm led to under. Does it? There you go. Look at that. You put that at seat. Did you see that? See? Stopper. Put that there. Boom. Done. And a little heart shaped cover minder. How cute to use that. Alrighty. Well, there you go, Diamond Art Club. Thank you for that. That was a pleasant surprise. I literally had forgotten all about the fact that they had changed their toolkits. Now, my understanding is it's kind of hit and miss with their toolkits uh, as far as how old the painting is that you're ordering and they're phasing them in and all that good stuff. So let's crack open into the painting. Are you interested to see my interpretation of what speaks to me? Look at the manky tape. Get, get off. Get off. Get off. off. Get off. Oh my gosh. Uh, what speaks to me as far as mental health goes? It'd be interesting to see your... In now, any diamond painting is good, you know, to help with um, mental health when, as long as you're enjoying the topic that you're doing. But there were specific paintings that I had seen recently or, you know, over the last 12 months that really drew me in towards this topic, if you will. Okay, I think this is upside down, so I'm gonna put it that way. You can see they are scalloped and, and there's little holies here to protect the edges from fraying. Inside you get a, an instructions book, step-by-step, -step, coupon code, all, our, all the more instructions. You've got coupons everywhere and we've got instructions everywhere to help you going here on the other side of this is our inventory and of course we've got our diamonds this one here is a round can you guess from looking at that what it is no okay let's turn it around are you ready uno e due e tre i bet you weren't expecting that Echoes from the Past by Sylvia Strigic. Is that how you pronounce it? It is a 56 by 79. Wow, the sparkle on this canvas is out of this world. Let me just tell you that much. Completely out of this world. Wow. So I'm going to run you through the basics of the Diamond Art Club if you've not seen it before. At the top you see, do what makes, it, do what makes you sparkle. We have our legend here. There we go. One, two, three. I'm looking here. So anything that's below 150 DMC in Diamond Art Club is an Aurora Borealis. We're gonna get into those in a minute. And then we have only 27 colors. Whilst we're here, we can have a look at that drill field. Pretty clear. Unfortunately, one of the lenses, and I still haven't gotten it fixed, is I'll do it like that one of the lenses on my camera on my iPhone is broken so I have to just do it this way you can see guys that is pretty confetti heavy pretty confetti heavy okay so I am going to read you something that's from the website and I think you know the reason that I'm doing it this way is that I really feel that this is uh, important to know the inspiration of the painting. So I'm going to insert here what I'm about to read out to you. Look upon a world bathed in shining hennas and opulence ivories and comprised of the both the living and the dead. Below the surface of humans, beg my pardon, below the surface of humankind's realm search for meaning with a collective mind and a single occluded blue eye there you go so if you've ever wondered if you've seen this painting before and you've ever wondered and i didn't even realize until i've reread that now she's only got one blue eye okay so below the surface of humankind's realm search for the meaning 
with a collective mind and a single occluded blue eye. Interesting. Very, very monochromatic. Like there's not a lot of color in this. So if you're one that likes a lot of different colors, this may not be the painting for you. The symbols are very, very clear, but I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put in here what the actual original image looks like whilst we crack open into the diamonds and I show you the ABs. So, how many of you thought that I would choose something like this? Not many, I'm sure. Not many, I'm sure. You can come back to me now. So here we've got the sticker sheet and these are individual stickers that you can use to kit up. See that? Beautiful. Put this in your logbook. There's the picture again. Look at all those shells and look at that blue eye. It looks really, um, looks like she's got like a whited out eye there, but I can see that when it's diamond, when it's going to be diamond painted, it will actually have a lot more structure to it. Very interesting. It's a very calming color palette. Look at these colors. Very neutral, very, very neutral. But I'm curious to know these ABs, and I'm gonna tell you what an AB is in a minute. Once I get them out and find them. Even though it's 27 colors, because it is pretty heavy confetti, from what, oh, sugar, almost cut through the wrong one. Um, I reckon it'll still take me, a, you know, a little bit to get through purely because of my time constraints. That's two, where's my third one? Looks like it's going to be some sort of pale. Hmm. Oh, where, where, for art thou? Is it even missing? Look at these, look, I mean, I'll zoom you in a little bit. Just so you can see what I'm doing here as I try and I'm trying not to unravel these too much because I don't want to disrupt them to find where these other ABs are. Hmm. Found it. Okay. All right. My goodness. That was a struggle. Here I am trying not to disrupt this. Oh yeah, yeah. But the, that's the color palette that you're playing with. Look at that. Hmm. Let's put these aside. And let's have a look at where these three go. So we've got a blue. Now, if you're wondering what an AB is, again, if you have not heard of it before, an Aurora Borealis is a diamond that's got an extra special coating on it, which makes it glisten and shine and twinkle. And what happens is when you put it down on your painting, it not only will these shine and twinkle, but all their buddy diamonds around will also shine and twinkle and sparkle even more so. So we've got a blue, a yellow, and a white. Let's have a look quickly and see where these go. Starting off with the number one, which is 101, the blue, that is actually the symbol one. And wouldn't you know it, they've put it in her eye. And I don't see anywhere else, to be fair. I think it's only gonna literally go in her eye. So that's the only blue that you're gonna get, which is up here. Uh, number two is 129, which is all that yellow. And that, Everywhere, let me get my, everywhere you see the end, follow this and you'll find it's going to be everywhere here. Uh, it's going to be lining the top of these shelves up here, there. It's quite a lot of yellow, um, just highlighting specific parts. Not a lot in her face, which I'm glad because I don't like ABs in faces. Down here, we come along there. So it's really just outlining these shelves. All around here, quite a lot. I'm really pleased with the amount of uh, ABs that they've given us on that. That's really cool. I like it. So 141 is the number three, and that's this white. That's in this shell here. It's in this one here. 
I don't expect there to be too much. There's some up there. A little bit up here. Hmm. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. So that's um, our first painting. We're not going to get too deep uh, into everything other than I've let you know that my opinion, let me just put these away. At least, goodness gracious. It is confetti. There is not a lot of color blocking, not a lot at all. And the colors are very, as I said, they're very calming to me, very calming. Um, and I like the fact that it's sort of, you know, shells around her. The rest of the box, just so that you know, see this is what you get on the box, okay? And what we're going to do with this sticker here is we're going to put this straight away on our box like so so that I can stack it on my shelf so let's pop that aside let's pop this one aside and let's get on to the next one you ready ready Freddy's so we're not going to go through the toolkit or exclamation exclamations no explanations of all the others why don't we do a square one next so we'll alternate, shall we? We'll go square round, square round, yada, yada, yada. What do you think? What do you think? As we go through these, it'd be lovely to know from you what speaks to you when you choose a painting. Uh, do you look at the inspiration that the artist has provided for the painting? Does that inspire you to then buy it? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so just so that you know, this is the regular toolkit or the old toolkit. You still get two plates of wax, there's uh, some tweezers because this is a square. You will always get tweezers with a Diamond Art Club square, but not the round. And you'll have, I'm sure, poking around in there, some multi-places, the squishy and the old tray. Okay, just so that you are aware that you could get either one. So let's have a look at this one here diamonds painting let's roll it out and you can see that these flatten out relatively quickly I can feel that this is a bit stiffer so let's do it that way there's our diamonds for this one for those of you who like to guess paintings from the from uh, the diamonds there you go Let's have a look. There's our instruction sheet. Let's have a look at the painting because that's what we're all here for. You ready? Uno, e due, e tre. Oh, I like her. I like her a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. We have here, Erase by Suniva Meister or Mister, and it is a 53 by 76. I like this one a lot. I really, really, really do. Allow me to read you this description whilst I put that up on the screen for you here. So, you ready? Leave the cobwebs of the past behind and blaze forth on a journey of self-discovery. In a moment of realization, gather courage and strength from this symbolic dragonfly. Its brilliant metal, metallic greens and coppers shine the way toward a brighter future. There you go. What do you think? So leave your troubles behind, go forward, use the strength of the dragonfly to carry you. What do you think of that one, guys? I like this one a lot. And there's a lot of color blocking. Look at all this color blocking, all that white. It's all color blocking. So this will work up, well, the bottom will work up quickly. You've got this eraser. I love that symbolism. 
and then your dragonfly here. Lots and lots of color blocking confetti throughout up here. This one here comes with 30 colors. Nice big legends. And oh, if I didn't say before, you get a legend up there and a legend down here. 30 colors. And on this one, we have no ABs. There you go. There's not one AB in this one. Interesting. It is a square. Yay for me. I forgot. Yes, I did say that at the start, but I forgot that it was. Yay. <laughs> but beautiful color palette. You know, you've got neutrals, you've got a lot of neutrals, but nothing like you've even got pinks in here and oranges and greens and browns. Lots of color blocking. No ABs. Interesting. There is the picture once again. I think, again, it's a wonderful one for color blocking. Uh, as far as if I was to bling bling this up at all you know what i might actually even though even though be aware that 310 ab's because that's what this is the out the outside of the dragonfly has is outlined in black i might do a test and see what a black ab would look like in the dragonfly even though a black ab doesn't throw off black it throws off iridescent purples and greens and blues and purples it might actually work well we'll see we shall see so that's our second painting there 30 colors it's not too bad not too bad what do you think of this one well she's got black nostrils too <laughs> but i think the artistry in this is beautiful her face is just really really nice and you can't see her eyes you can't see her eyes and she looks like she's frowning like upset so you get I'm getting those those vibes you know like you can see that she wants to just take away pain and and erase the past erase it and take strength to move forward from the from the dragonfly so I'm really really enjoying what that says to me so I'm not going to take these out but there's our diamonds there again square I never really do comment on the quality of diamonds until I open them up and start working on them because you just never know you just never know so that's our second painting of the day so that's a square which means we're up to a round which is this one What's this one gonna be? What's this one gonna be? Let's get this one out of the way. Actually, if we do this round now, that means we're gonna end up with two squares. So stick around, stick around to the end. Even if you're not a square lover. Let's see what this one is. Like I said, I've had these in my stash for such a long time. And it's about time you guys got to see them. What have we got here? Old square kit. It's like a, huh, it's like a lucky dip, isn't it? Old square tick. Tick? No, it's not a tick. <laughs> Old square kit. No, oh my gosh, get it right, Grace. Old tool kit. Gracie, use your words. Beep. There's our sticker. We're going to put that on the box. We're going to open up this painting. I didn't even see on the box what this one is. That's going to be a surprise me as much as it is to you that's funny I honestly didn't see which box I picked up so let's find out together the others I saw but this one I don't know which one this one is so is it the right oh it goes oh it goes which way is it going that way oh, it goes that way all righty let's have a look together you ready uno due e tre Oh la la! It is Bittersweet by Sarah Richter, 64 by 51. This is not a big one at all. Not a big one at all. And I'm looking, looking, looking. There's a little bit of color blocking at the top. 
color blocking there and confetti golly gosh 48 colors 48 colors let's have a look and see what bittersweet reads to ready to read along with me here we go reach out with swirls of creative impulses for new places and faces to thaw your frozen soul feel free to crackle and spark back to life as the intensity mounts and an amber passion is ignited what do you think what do you think I think we all do, you know, when we sit down and do our diamond paintings, we all feel like we are creating something, we're bringing something to life. So I think this is a beautiful piece and it's not big. Well, not in my humble opinion. I don't consider this to be big. It's 64 by 51. Okay. Uh, have a look at the picture here while I see. And this one's got four ABs. So let's have a look at if I can find the ABs while you gaze your eyeballs at the original artwork Let's see if I can pick these out a lot quicker how does that sound there's this one here I always like looking where the ABs are and I think most people do okay golly gosh now let's have a look we've got the number one which is the blue Okay, so the number one is, let's have a look, see together. Blue Grace, blue, blue, blue. Gracie, find the blue for the peoples. And blue, which is the number one. Where are you? Hmm. Hmm. Really? Oh, yeah. In this swell here. So, right there here wherever you see the end of my scissors is where the number one and this is so wherever you see my there's some in here there uh, and that's about it so that's the blue then we've got the number two, which is the one, two, six, which is this lilac or mauve. No, I wouldn't say mauve. I'd, I'd say it's lilac. Um, and that's the number two. There's not a lot in here, which scares me because it means there's not going to be a lot in here, which means it's going to take me a while to find. <laughs> uh. literally it, it's going to be not a lot here we go these lines here so in her hair just at the top just a highlight up there so that's the lilac up there the blues down there the orange is the number three and that's these lots up here see these color blocks here that's the number three in there as well some along the top and down there and that's about it up there and then we've got one four one which is the number four this is highlighting all this section here down and through these swirls all and through these swirls and up there as well and all around here how beautiful is that I love this <coughs> beg my pardon when I first saw this I kind of thought I got the vibe that she's releasing a tear you know a tear of emotion out you know she was just releasing I just got that feeling of release so interesting that when I read the um, description you know it says to reach out with swells of creative impulses um, and 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 you know faces to thaw your frozen soul it, it 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 spoke to me before i even knew the meaning of it if that makes sense i love the fact that she's got her eyes closed as well as with all dac yeah they're pretty sticky um and what was i going to say they normally do measure to, true to size i i'm not measuring them today though 
So that is the third. Third? Are we up to three? Yes. Bittersweet by Sarah Richter. Put that aside and let's do our box. Bittersweet. Put this on our box, which will go this way. Like so. See? Box is prepared. Let's put our diamonds aside. That goes on the floor. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't judge me. What do we have next? Okay, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Tell me, not only tell me in the comments below which ones you like, which you, you know, you can comment from now until and comment again or whatever. However, it'd be interesting to know if it was ones that you th had thought that I would choose. That's, I'm curious to know. Curious to know. Okay. Old toolkit, yeet. Sticker, put to the side. Let's have a look here. It's a square. Mm. Roll it out. Oh, this one again feels like a smallish one. Which way up? Which way up? Which way up? It's upside down. This way. You ready, Freddies? Let's go, peeps. Uno, e due, e tre. Boom, how's that for some color? This one is called Chakra by Julia Watkins. 56 by 56. 56 by 56. Look at those colors. Uh, if you are partaking in the uh, DP Pride 2022 event that's going on at the moment, this would definitely, definitely suit that genre because all they're asking for is to do color. But if you are into chakras and what they do and how they work uh, this would be a beautiful painting to display in your home I would say I love the colors the colors are just vibrant and bright let's have a look oh my gosh one of the smallest paintings we've got so far and yet there are 64 colors holy moly holy moly it is a square all of the Diamonds do come with a sticker so that if you keep your painting separate from your diamonds, you've got a sticker label on there. Wow, look at this color palette. Oh my gosh, people, people, people. You should be able to, or maybe you don't know, but given that it's only a 56 by 56 and you have got 64 colors, you are gonna know straight up that there is confetti. However, if you are one to A, love confetti and B, enjoy that sort of color palette look at that wow how many ab's in this we have five oh mama i love this color 814 oh my gosh look at this 814 and 154 i love those deep purples and maroons oh they give me life all right this is not going to open up nicely Oh my goodness, I've seen one AB here. Let's chop that. Whilst I'm having a look at this, you guys have a look at the original artwork. I see another AB here. Two. Three. Four. Wow, this is going to be so so bright. Three. Still going. Four. And we're looking for one more. One more, ladies and gentlemen. Where are you hiding? Here it is. Okay. Yeah, five. 
Okay, whilst I pack these away, let me read out to you what this is about. Open your mind to the bubbling energy and power of the universe, allowing it to fill you with creativity, health and inspiration. Relax further into yourself and release a kaleidoscope explosion of colours at each loci, infusing your soul with fresh feelings and profound emotions. How's that? How is that? I believe these are called your loci, your chakras. I'm, I'm not too up in the whole knowledge of it all. I just know that I had to have this painting. So what an amazing description and artist's inspiration for this. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I can't believe there's 64 colours. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And yet there is seemingly little blocks of colour blocking. But what a... Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. This colour here, what is that? What symbol is that? That's 3371, so it's not even black. Actually, indeed, guys, uh, let me confirm, there's not one 310 in this, not one. Not one black in here at all. All right, let's go through and put these in order. Our ABs, that goes over there. All right, so first of all, we've got one, two, four, which is the pink. And this one here is the number one. And where's my scissors? So follow my my scissors. This is where your pink is going to be. Wherever I am going with my scissors. So lots and lots of beautiful bright pink all outlining here. None towards the bottom, no. Some down there and a little bit here. All right, but that's majority of your pink is there. Then we've got number two, which is the 130, this the yellow. And yes, you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it. It's all lining her here. Her or him, could be him, around the head, there, some here, in this here, there, around there some up here so that's the majority of your two then three is the green which is one three four okay and that's the number three and that's going to so you've got this yellow a b here and then right next to it is this one here so you're going to have yellow and green ah aussie colors if you didn't know but you've got this green so that's all down there all in here all this is green, this green AB, outlining, again, it's butting up against th this yellow here. Spots of it everywhere, wherever you see me pointing. Uh, no, none up there. And a little bit here, and there, and lining here. So that's the green. Then we come to the blue, which is not the symbol four. That's this blue one here. And the four is a little bit in here. The circle here. These patches here, see these patches? That line uh, down here. There. So quite a lot of the four as well. And 141, which is the white, okay? And that's the number five. And the number five is in this, wherever you see my, my scissors, all this section here, all this white here, that's all AB. And have you noticed these? Have you noticed these? All these little dots? See all these little dots? Can you see them? They're like stars, all dotted through. That is all this. So they're gonna glisten and glisten beautifully. Oh my gosh. 
As I do, as I open these up, I want to do them. Ah, send help. Oh, sugar. I just dropped a pack of diamonds. I'm just about sliding across the floor. Oh, good gosh. All right, let's just put these up there for now. Over to the side and I'll sort them out later. And we'll get out. We've only got one more to go, guys. One more. One more. Let's put our sticker on because that's what we do. That's what we're going to do. Okay, chakra is on. What do you think of this one? Is it your thing? Hmm. Very, very different paintings one to the other. Now, the last one, the last one can be a little bit polarizing, okay? Uh, I haven't seen anyone unbox it. I do know that some comments that I read regarding this was a little bit polarizing as far as subject matter. I would like to know, well, number one, what my thoughts are when I see the canvas, but number two, what your thoughts are on this sort of painting. Okay. Normal toolkit, yeah. Uh, sticker, we'll put to the side. Let's have a look at what this one is. Now, I've given you a bit of a hint those of you that know the Diamond Art Club website well, you may already have guessed what this is. Again, something very different for me. Uh, however, when I chose it, I also chose it with wanting to present it to you guys as an option if, if doing thematic sort of paintings was your thing. So... Is it the right way up? Yep. She's a big one, this one. And it is a square. All right, you ready? You ready, Freddies? Uno, due, e tre. Mmm. Comfortably numb. 56 by 79 by Mario Sanchez Nevado. Like I said, polarizing. Um, because it can be controversial. It can be controversial, this one. Depends if you take someone's artwork for what it is. Depends uh, if perhaps it triggers. Depends whether or not it gives you peace. Uh, and I wanted to bring it to the forefront because to me, I took it as a piece of art. Let me get the meaning for it. So it's comfortably numb. And let me read it to you. When it seems that all you're doing is putting out fires, keep smiling and indulge in some guilty pleasures. Take your meds, enjoy a little screen time and then let your imagination run wild. Okay, so the description says take your meds. So to me, this spoke about giving yourself permission to be okay if you are, you know, taking medication. Not to be felt, to be made to feel ashamed um, because if you're taking prescribed medication, that means that someone is there trying to assist you, you know, to get to a better place. So, you know, as, the, as it says, you know, when it seems all you're doing is putting out fires, Keep smiling and indulge in some guilty pleasures. I don't think this is your guilty pleasures, but they've given you an example of take the remote control, chill out a little bit, just watch a bit of TV or whatever that might be, you know. Enjoy a little screen time and just 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 forget the rest of your troubles. Let this, what's being prescribed, do the work for you and help you and not be ashamed. That's how I interpret this. As I said, it is very, very controversial uh, and, and it can be very polarizing. Again, it's seemingly a man. However, there's nothing to say a woman can't wear what this person is wearing. So there's no man or woman sort of denoted here. But these are, you know, medications and 
take some, it's very abstract. It's very, it's very, very confronting for some. And I remember people talking about it when it was first released, how you know, it was very, people were on two sides of the fence with this one. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's artwork. It's someone's way of expressing something that they wanted to put out. And if people are talking about it, then that's a good thing. Um, for the artist, obviously, and hopefully brings to the forefront the fact that medication is not something to be ashamed of, you know? Indulge in it if it's been prescribed, take it for what it is, and let it do its job for you. That's how I kind of see this painting. This one here, out of all of them, this is confetti, okay? However, the outside here, majority of this here is color blocking as is the top that's all color blocking okay so that's going to work out really really quickly these are all color blocking let me uh show you 54 colors there's the artwork again very very yeah it's it gives it gets you in the feels one way or another it gets you in the feels whatever those feels are well it does for me anyway and in here we've got one, two, three ABs. We've got our doodah sheet there. Let's have a look at this. Lots of 310. So this background, uh, the top is 310. So this part here is 310. And then it goes into the Y symbol, which is what what's that a y symbol is a 3371 so you're going to have a lot of 310 and then a lot of the 3371 okay there's more 310s there and 3371 which is your dark brown they almost look very similar to each other uh, so there's all by himself the orange and let's try and not disrupt I like the colors in this to be fair the colors are my vibe oh only a little bit of white okay and then all right it must be a yellow of some description or line here it is no no i lied to you i i make a i make a lie to you i'm starting to schwitz here so oh oh there it is orange okay So there's a dark orange, a light orange, and a white. Not a lot, which is interesting. I thought they would have actually done a lot more with this. Come on. Okay. So, three ABs. Let's have a look. One, two, three. So we've got one, three, two. It's a teeny tiny amount of this light orange. And that's the number one. And that's where, again, follow the end of my scissors there. Um, along here. In here. And not much else. Hmm. Then we've got number two, which is this darker, deeper orange. And that's the number two. And wherever you see my scissors is in here. So that's a lot more predominant. In there, here, here, there, there, in here. And then, the, oh! wanted to run away a little teeny tiny amount of the white which is the number three and that's just around yeah 
So just around, see this light bulb? See that's a light bulb? Which I think is a great symbol. You know, you're trying to work towards the light. You know, you're trying to get light in your life. Um, it's just around this light bulb with a little bit of luminescence coming off it from there and here. So that is your three. There's uh, the big, the big sticker, and that's the last of the paintings. So very, very, very different to one another. Very different. Let me see if I can position them and you can see properly. Okay, so here they all are. Very, very, very different paintings. One to the other, to the other, to the other. Differing from shape, differing from subject matter, differing from genre, so to speak. Just very, very different. But I wanted to bring you a variety to show you that for me each one of these has something in them that speaks to me regarding mental health and whatever I'm going through in either that moment that day that month that year that time in my life and it goes to show you also that there is no one type of painting that can be defined as such in my personal humble opinion so that's what I chose to present to you as just some, just some, not all, but just some of a very, you know, expansive variety of paintings that you could be doing uh, when it comes to thinking about, you know, working towards mental health and if you use diamond painting for a journey that you're going through. So please, I would love for you, before you leave, give me a thumbs up on your way out. That would be lovely. And let me know down in the comments below which one of them was your favourite, which one of them was your least favourite. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind those sorts of comments because that's what we are all about. Obviously, you know, be kind in your comments because, as I said, there could be some uh, controversial ones in there and obviously... We are all being mindful in our comments, I'm sure, to be aware of other people's triggers and not to upset anyone. So with all that being said, thank you so, so much for coming along and watching today. I really, really do appreciate your time. Wherever you are in your part of the world, please look after yourselves. Look after each other and have each other's backs. It's so, so super important. And until I see you next time, I'm going to send you all much, much love and ciao, ciao for now.